welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Hedatullah with another new video. In your previous lecture, I have just shown you that how we will draw, take a combined foundation. And uh, in our previous lecture, I have completely take our, I mean, we have completely passed our different types of failure of foundation. So, in this lecture, I am just going to show you that how we will design our foundation. So, if you are new to our channel, you can watch our previous video and also if you are a civil engineer then subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update first so first of all to design to design that foundation we have to draw a stiff okay so from here design is stiff we have to draw design stiff so i will just uh, they have two option okay they have two option actually edit and from here we can automatically draw our design is stiff okay but i will just re recommend you and in this lecture i'll just draw design is stiff draw design is stiff manually okay so to draw our design stiff here in uh, first of all i'll draw our design stiff for that line so this is our column stiff and for layer a this is for in x direction so this is 1.5 1.5 1.5 i'll just decrease that i'll give her one i'll give her one i'll give her also one actually uh, when or only one is stiff then no need to consider that data we'll just simply draw so this is one on one and first of all we'll take mouse here and also we'll take mouse here so it's done then press escape now see here we have drawer here we have drawer column stiff in that direction now again we'll go ahead draw then uh, draw design stiff and from here we'll go for in b direction b for y this is y for b and here uh, for column i'll just consider this a one on it's okay so from that point again go to that point it's done then escape again draw then design strip b it's okay actually predefined then click here then also click here it's done escape again we'll go the middle strip okay not this now this is not in column strip so sorry i'll go draw then design strip and then i'll select that this is for middle strip and i'll consider this is uh, it's one actually also we can uh, consider that this is one that's not fact actually otherwise we can consider this is one point two five point two five control c control v control v control v so from here we'll find the middle point this is the midpoint actually when you have no midpoint i'm just showing you that how we'll find that midpoint simply click here and go here this is the another midpoint and come here escape so we have successfully draw our design step also suppose uh, that midpoint are not showing here just simply click here right click then snap option and from here select the point what are required for you okay so from here uh, actually who is points required so from here you can select that i'll just cancel so we've successfully draw our design strip now again i'll go for run analysis and design and before run analysis and design i just go here design preferences okay so design preferences first of all i'll go here design combo so i'll go for uh, design i mean i'll use design combo for the ultimate load that that both two combo okay for ultimate load combo so this okay now uh, again i'll go ahead design then design preferences actually what is the design preferences in in first time i have just show you that actually we have i will change that data for uh, minimum cover for slab i mean for foundation will give it's 75 then again 75 and i will consider the bar size is 
12 mm right and this is 2 s slab it's done then minimum color cover for beam that's not record because they have no beam it's done then okay so our design preferences is also okay now we'll go for run analysis and design so simply click here and now we have completed our run analysis and design and here I will just move it here and now I'll go display so from here I will go here show slab design okay so simply click here and come here now first of all I will just show that about finite element base method then direction one for top river then apply so it's showing us where required reinforcement okay for top river where required reinforcement for top river so uh, it's showing here required huge reinforcement required here this is almost 1 to 988 right 1 to 988 millimeter square per meter and also here it's showing very little so it at midpoint it's showing for top river for bottom for in direction 1 apply this is for bottom here required reinforcement some reinforcement in that both two support but at middle they have no reinforcement record actually here also here here now for that direction if we also consider impose minimum reinforcement okay apply impose minimum reinforcement so here it's showing the requirement of minimum reinforcement here it's showing so from here at hot points how much reinforcement required you can see it this is millimeter square per meter I mean in per meter so first of all I'll go for strip based design this is actually based so I'll first of all select layer A for layer A I mean for that direction in X direction field diagram known this is show river area per unit width so I'll apply so first of all I will show you here this is the reinforcement requirement this is for reinforcement requirement in uh, X direction okay in uh, X direction for top and bottom this reinforcement requirement for this for top here it's showing one three six five point four 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 one four millimeter square per meter reinforcement so again if we go for layer B so apply and here in three layer it's showing us the reinforcement requirement so for that layer it's showing the top and bottom river here okay so in that side we have to provide mass reinforcement then that side again if we go here it's showing the reinforcement requirement okay for top and bottom and here also it's showing the reinforcement requirement for top and bottom now if we select the impost minimum reinforcement always when we'll design always as a engineer you have to select impose minimum reinforcement this is actually as, as per design code okay the minimum reinforcement it will consider then apply then it's showing the minimum reinforcement for top and bottom and here also it's showing the minimum reinforcement okay and also here it's showing the minimum reinforcement now they have another option for layer a and for layer b okay i will just select that option topical uniform reinforcing a specified a specified bill actually this is the final by using that option we can simply draw our detailing actually okay we can simply we can draw our detailing so first of all i'll select the our bar size here okay i'll select 10 mm or 12 mm bar and 12 mm bar and here spacing i'll consider our spacing is 250 mm and 250 okay so i'll just apply now see that for layer a and for layer b here it's showing the impose minimum reinforcement when we are providing 12 mm bar in both top and bottom for top and bottom and the spacing is 250 millimeter and 250 millimeter in both direction for both side top and bottom then it's showing the requirement of reinforcement okay this is the now it's showing the requirement of reinforcement here so when we are uh, giving that data then it's uh, showing the requirement of reinforcement for top and bottom also 
so first of all I'll go for layer a because we are seeing that for our uh, layer V it's showing very little reinforcement than layer a so I will design both in separate so first of all I will go for layer a okay and I'll go apply so here it's showing us when we are you know, giving that bar with uh, 12 mm bar with a spacing of 250 millimeter then we need more extra reinforcement like that here so in bottom in bottom here are uh, almost in that side it's okay but here in top we really got more reinforcement in middle stiff okay I mean in uh, middle stiff so I'll just decrease uh, if we increase the bar size then see what happened apply now see here when we have applied it bar size now in bottom we record a little bit reinforcement here only here I mean 0 0.5 millimeter square only so this is for bottom okay this is for bottom actually so in bottom if I give reinforcement if I give reinforcement actually when you're an engineer then you can go for a technique actually so how here just see here in that in, in with I mean till that direction we record no reinforcement when we are giving that arrangement okay and also that point so from that point to that point we can increase our top reinforcement and first of all I will just fix our bottom reinforcement so I will just give it 225 apply now see here they have no requirement of bottom reinforcement if we provide a bottom reinforcement number four bar with a spacing of 225 right then our bottom is okay but now we record the enforcement in top so I'll just come here and I'll give it number I mean uh, 14 mm bar with a spacing of 200 millimeter then apply then we record also we got more bar so I'll just increase the bar size the 16 mm then apply now it's showing here uh, we record some bar so uh, also with I mean uh, till that point we can provide the reinforcement like that arrangement after that we can provide the more reinforcement here so if we go here one five zero then apply also if we go here 100 apply now see here it's okay and I'll just increase under 25 apply it's also okay and then 30 it's also okay 150 when we provide 150 then we record little bit reinforcement here actually so we can give it 40 apply now see here if we provide arrangement for our layer a bar okay for our I mean uh, that longitudinal bar in that direction in X direction if we provide bar for top for top it's number 16 mm bar with a spacing of 140 mm and for bottom 40 m, uh, mm bar 14 mm bar with a spacing of 225 so for our x direction it's okay now we'll go for our layer b in that direction then we'll click apply when we're clicking apply now with here it's showing uh, some recurrent of bottom reinforcement so mm, our top reinforcement is okay with that arrangement but i will decrease that i'll give it 12 then i'll apply when we're providing for uh, that in y direction when we're providing reinforcement in y direction with 12 mm bar and a spacing of 140 then it's okay also for top reinforcement okay so i'll also increase that 200 i'll give it 200 apply it's also okay for 200 now i'll go 225 for top reinforcement now record some reinforcement in top okay now i'll give her 
200 it's okay so for top it's okay and for bottom actually everywhere is okay except that point so I'll just go also for bottom 12 and I'll apply when we're uh, giving 12 mm bar now we record some uh, reinforcement here and here so if I go here 200 mm spacing with 12 mm bar then apply now see here in that point and in that point they have no reinforcement requirement for that arrangement except expect uh, that data hmm? here we have to provide some little bit more reinforcement suppose uh, first of all we will uh, design for whole foundation with that arrangement and after that we will just for that portion only okay for that portion only in bottom will provide little bit I mean uh, one or two reinforcement extra reinforcement in that direction then our design will be okay with a spacing of I mean for that column is stiff with a spacing of 175 it's not okay also then 150 apply now see here for 150 mm spacing for in bottom this is okay and for top this is also okay so in this way just we can design our foundation okay we can design our foundation properly and we can draw our foundation drawing manually so in our in some I mean in our next lecture lecture I'll just show you that how we'll draw actually uh, after completing our that series I will show that how we'll draw manual detailing how we'll draw manual detailing in our AutoCAD software I will also show you that so stay with us and also support us and if you think that that's helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first and also like our video share our video and don't forget to leave a comment because your own comment and your own share inspires for the next work so thank you thank you very much still stay connected till next video